Hello everybody, my name is Caroline and I am the Cigar Angel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the San Latano Habano Cigar. The wrapper is Brazilian Habano, the binder is Nicaraguan, and the filler is Nicaraguan, Honduran, and Dominican. So, today I'm going to be cutting the guillotine cut straight, straight off the top. And something I'm going to, uh, I do every so often, but not a lot really, is light it with cedar. So, we will light the cedar. I'm going to smoke this for a little bit and let you guys know my first thoughts. So my first reaction to the San Latano is, you know, it's a spicy cigar, but it's very balanced. Um, initially, I feel like the predominant taste in this cigar is kind of leathery. It's not a bad taste, it's just that's the, that's what's coming out the most so far when you first light it up. So I'm going to smoke this for a little bit more and let you guys know my thoughts on the first third. So I'm back. Been smoking the San Latano for a little bit and I have to say this is a great cigar so far. Um, this is considered a medium to full-bodied cigar. It's strong, but yet it's perfectly balanced with rich, robust flavor, which is really nice. Um, and with every puff, it's got a long, memorable finish. So, um, the predominant flavors that I'm tasting in this cigar right now um, there's, you know, nuances of wood, leather, and spice. So, so far it's been a very enjoyable cigar, and um, I'm looking forward to the, uh, the next two-thirds. So, I will uh, smoke this for a little bit more and let you guys know my final thoughts. So I'm getting to the end of the San Latano, and I have to say, this has been a great cigar. The balance and consistency of this cigar has really been, you know, throughout with, in terms of taste and flavor. The nuances of wood, leather, and spice are there pretty much, you know, mixed in the whole way through. Nothing really overpowers another. Um, this is... A little about this cigar, um, AJ Fernandez created this cigar and a unique aspect about it is the rare Cuban seed and the Lajero wrapper were only grown in Brazil by the Fuego family. Um, so that's a cool little fun fact about this cigar. Um, if I were to rate this cigar, I'd give it an 8.5 out of 10. This is a you know, a solid cigar worth picking up in a humidor. The Cigar Cigars humidor. Um, the, uh, you know, it's, it's spicy, but not so spicy. It's overpowering, and it's just an overall great cigar you should try at least once. So, um, if you guys have any suggestions or comments about this video, please please leave them below. Um, please subscribe to the Cigar Cigars YouTube channel and Facebook page. And um, if you guys have any suggestions in terms of cigars you'd like to hear me review, please also leave them below. Um, right after this video, you'll see all seven of our locations. So if you're 
in the area, please stop by. We have a great selection, um, hundreds of different kinds of cigars to choose from. So until next time, I will see you guys later. You, no! San Latano, Habano, Habano, Habano. What do I sound like? The San Latano, Habano, Habano. San Latano, Habano. Hey! So I'm getting to the end of the San Latano, Habano. 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 I will be. Ugh. It's strong, yet it's perfectly balanced with... Ugh. So I'm getting to the final... Um, one unique aspect of, about this cigar is the rare Cuban seed and robust flavor. What? Ugh. It didn't change that much in terms of, you know... Ugh, that was something I learned uh, while smoking the cigar. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. If I were to rip the... Um, wait. <laughs> something interesting about this cigar... Uh, this is and AJ Hernandez Fernandez not her Hernandez. Ugh. Look how long that is. Going for a record. It doesn't make it but the spice isn't too overpowering, which is nice. Um, and this is an Ugh so close. This is an A.J. Fernandez cigar, and 